This is Dragon Blogger here to talk to you about the Windows 7 snipping tool. This tool is similar to the Dash Blog plugin for Firefox and allows you to cut out sections of your uh, desktop or your browser and turn them into images. You would click on the Windows Start button and click on the snipping tool. And under the snipping tool, you'll see you have the ability to do freeform snip, a rectangular snip, window snip, or a full screen snip. For this test, I'll show you a freeform snip where you take a small section of any shape you want. For a rectangular snip, we'll take a section of the website and turn it into an image. So you would capture a section of what you want to snip and it opens up the snipping tool. From there, you can use the highlighter and highlight which one to highlight. You can freehand draw manually and write whatever you want on the basically the image that you've now snapshotted. You can copy the image and paste it into a paint program so that you can manipulate the image further inside the paint program. Then you can just save it as a PNG or JPEG or whatever format you want while you're in the paint program. Or if you don't need to take the image in a paint program, you can also save it directly from the snipping tool. You can also email the image directly just by clicking the email snippet button and you'll see it attaches it as a snip file in your email. If you save the snip, it defaults to PNG format, but you can change the format as well. You can also use the eraser tool and erase any of the drawings or highlighting that you've already done automatically without hurting the image itself. You could change the color of the pen, customize the color, do red ink circles, highlights, arrows, anything that you want to do very simply. Under options, there's a, there's a whole bunch of options you could choose to help you uh, handle your snips. And that's the Windows 7 snipping tool. Thank you for watching.